hello today i'd like to talk to you about how to prepare borders for a quilt as you go quilt quite often quilt as you go quilts don't have borders they're the blocks are all put together and then it's just bound but just sometimes you want to put a border on a quilt like that and so today i thought i'd show you how you might want to go about that so what i've got here is some blocks that i've been doing quilt as you go and so i've got some applique blocks that i've done and i've got some blocks that i've quilt as you go just done with some strips on the diagonal and I thought they look quite nice together to make a fun little child's quilt and so I thought I'd put a border around that so that you can see how that's done so I thought I have I found this wonderful stripy fabric that seemed to have pretty much all those colors in it and I thought I might make that my border and I thought these blocks here are cut at nine and a half inches and I thought maybe a five inch border would just bring it out to a quite a nice usable size quilt it's going to be a square quilt and then I wanted to have different colors in my corners kind of like I've got the different colors where the applique is and so I thought if I made a five inch wide border I need four strips for my sides and then I can have my corners all different out here um, there will be a joining up process which involves having another little color along these lines here but I'll be showing you that in another video today I was just going to show you how to prepare the borders because what you can do with the quarters you go is you can get everything ready and then you could join the whole thing up afterwards um, so we're going to do the joining up as a separate video so because I'm going to cut my uh, borders five inches wide my I know that my corner squares will need to be five inches because they're going to sit in here so you're not adding on any seam allowance or anything what the measurement of, of cutting is the finished size like these nine and a half inch squares will stay as nine and a half inch squares they're not going to get any smaller with seams and things so I've, what I've done is quilted four bits here I wanted different colors on the back so I've done four squares that were six inches to start with and then I've trimmed them down to five inches so I've just got one here that I haven't trimmed and I just happen to have a handy five inch square ruler which is very convenient and I'm going to just trim that you can see I've got plenty all round on both sides so I'm just going to lay my ruler on center it and I'm just going to trim that so I would just start off trimming the side and then I'd come across the top and then I'm going to turn that around so that the trimmed corner is down on my left close to me and I can line up these two edges of the ruler here now and trim the other two sides so it was a simple matter just to quilt these little bits again it uses up nice bits and pieces of batting um, and it was it was kind of just as easy to do four separate little squares as it was to do anything else now so that's the, the corner squares for the border but then I, for the actual border itself for working out how much fabric you need because my squares are nine and a half inches and I've got three of them across and in the other direction so it's square if I add up uh, nine and a half three times I'll come up with 28 and a half inches so if I just measure this just to double check and that's sitting pretty well on let's have a look here on 28 and a half inches so I'm pretty excited that everything's working but because we made the blocks slightly oversized and then trim them it will work that everything will be the right size because we're not taking in seams and worrying about what's disappearing there so that's 28 and a half inches so my borders because I'm doing the border on the sides but not trying to do the corner will be the same length as that so they need to be 28 and a half inches and because I've decided I want to make them five inches wide obviously they need to be five inches wide but I'm going to pre quilt my border so I, what I've done is worked out how much fabric I think I need to do that and I've, and I've quilted it so it's already quilted um, just with some straight lines roughly parallel not particularly exact so what I've done is I've allowed a little bit extra so that sometimes when you quilt things come in a little bit so I've probably got about 30 inches of my width of fabric and I've probably got about um, 22 inches that way I'm going to be cutting them to 5 inches so I need 20 inches so I've just allowed myself a little inch either side that I can trim off and then I can slice it into five inch strips and I've allowed a little bit extra I needed 28 and a half and I've got 30 
So again, I can just trim off the length to the length I want and get four five inch by 28 and a half inch strips out of that piece of pre-quilted fabric. So we'll quickly do that just so you can see how I'd cut them. I'll just move some of these. I don't really want to slice those up. So probably what I would do, I probably would trim off and get my 20 inches. So I'm going to fold that over, right sides together, and I'm going to line up this edge here, make sure that my ruler is long enough to get it past all this. And I'm just going to trim off here and I'm going to be trimming it at 20 inches here. Um, well, I, actually I can slice across in five inch strips at this stage. So I'll trim using the board for my markings and I'm just using that edge line to start off with. And so I'm going to cut right along that and just trim all that rough edge off that we just don't need. Then I'm going to come along here to the five inch line and I'm lining my ruler up above and below the fabric and cutting myself a five inch strip because that's the size that I want. And I'll come across and do the next one. So I'm cutting on the 10 inch line now. This was quite fun to just quilt a piece of fabric like this. As I said, they're just not particularly straight, random, parallelish lines. Um, and it's, it's going to be great when it's all put together. Now I'm on the line for number 15, 15 inch, because it's another five. And now I'm up to the 20. So I can slice through there. So again, I'm lining up top and bottom here with my ruler so I can cut it nice and straight. Need a little bit of pressure when you're cutting through all that batting and things as well. But uh, if you can stand up behind it, you'll find that it's not so hard. So now I've got to trim them to length. We've got the width. So I need to make sure that I've got 28 and a half inches of length. So again, I'll line it up with that end line, cut that off and trim off the other end. And we've got to do this four times. I would do them individually rather than stack them because stacking them could you could end up with some little anomalies that we're not really keen on. So I'm just going to line up this end, line it up with your board so it's sitting nice and straight. Trim off there and trim it 28 and a half inches here. I find the markings on the board so useful because they just help with all this measuring and take all the stress out of things like that. So just another couple to go and then I'll just quickly lay it to show you how it's going to look and then next time we'll do the joining up. So there's, it's, it's quite fun to be able to make the whole quilt. I mean normally we do all that and then we add the borders and this way we can get all the quilting done. And you could, I've done the parallel lines, you could have done any form of quilting, you might like uh, meandering or you might prefer to do any number of different things um, with your quilting and it's really up to you how you do that. So I'll quickly just lay these now to show you more or less what it's going to look like. I can't fit the whole quilt on my table but we can probably get two sides to show you. Right, so I've got one row, two rows, three rows and as I said there's going to be a little narrow strip of something joining those blocks shortly so that will help break the colours because it's looking pretty leery just at the moment I have to admit. Okay, so one strip here and it's exactly the right size. It should be just exactly the same length as your blocks are just laying there. And we'll lay one along here and it's looking pretty good. And then we're going to have a nice bright corner in the corner here. So, and it'll be the same on the other two sides as well. So that was just to show you how to go about quilting as you go with borders. Um, so that you've got your blocks, we've done the applique, we've done the strips, and now we've done some borders. And next time I'll show you how to put it all together. Thank you.